Atlantic City is known as, as a grown-up playground. Got a lot of familiar faces. Some of, the, some of the hottest casinos in the nation. You can get here from Baltimore, you can get here from Philadelphia easily, you can get here from New York. You know, you can come to Atlantic City and escape. Atlantic City to Steel Pier and Miss America, this is a historic town. What you find here is, is a great diversity. Funky, freaky, unusual things, you know. They also like to come in and find the things that they experienced when they were a child, like grandma's cookie jar. Most people that are sitting here and they buy an antique, they're buying a piece of their youth. This is my first antique show in Atlantic City. The variety at the show here and so forth, it's really gone over well. I can walk around the show with $20 in my pocket, $200 or $2,000 and I can buy almost anything of any variety that I want to find. Atlantic City is really the place you want to be. Atlantic City was founded in 1986 by a Madison Avenue advertising executive who was also a huge toy collector. And he started the show as a, uh, as a toy show initially, but word spread because he had an eye for quality and variety that dealers flock from all over the nation. And we have uh, many of our dealers are 20-year dealers that come back because they develop long-term relationships with the collectors in the region. And not only is it, is it about the sales, it's about friendships and relationships and the camaraderie that you find among antiques collectors. So over the last 22 years, we've developed a core group of quality dealers and a core group of quality collectors that are always eager to meet new people and, and talk about the objects that they collect. Being that this is all new to me, I'm learning a lot, I'm getting to see a lot. The fact that the dealers are so educated. I'm learning a lot today. The dealers here cannot be more helpful. They like to work with you, they like to talk to you. I just bought that Indian. <laughs> uh, they li they'll work with you on the prices. And you don't know, you know a guy can go walk up and won't look like he has a diamond by a $10,000 item. So. And it's a, just a wonderful opportunity to gain knowledge and buy items you would not normally be able to purchase. We have no idea how we're going to take the Indian home. Maybe it'll be in our pickup truck. I'm not sure. <laughs> how often do you see a mechanic, mechanical automaton elephant and, uh, and the laughing lady, the rubber neck, and even the robot and so forth? Try to get a big difference smattering of everything. You know? Diversity is really what sets this show uh, a part. The deal that put me on the map, a son of a, a truck, an ex-truck driver for Tops, found a case in 1952s in his, in his attic. If I had a hair on my head for every time I heard that story, I asked him how many cards he had, he said 5,000. He found some more. He says, I have five to seven thousand. He calls me Thursday, tells me he has fifteen to twenty thousand. I couldn't sleep all night. All night I never slept. And he comes over to me and he puts the tray down. The cards were a little bit over my head. And I took some cards off. And there it was, 311, Mickey Mantle. My hands were shaking. I was trembling. I took the cards outside. I'm smelling them. I see these have to be fake. This is no way they could be real. Baseball cards, very strange, very, very strange um, uh, atmosphere. I've been in the baseball memorabilia business for 32 years full time. Um, greatest business in the world. We get vendors from 41 different states. We have eight expert appraisers across the business. They're passionate about the antiques trade. We have a little bit of everything, as you can see. We have jewelry experts, we have generalists. We want the best merchandise. We want the rarest merchandise. We want the top quality dealers. And that's one of the factors that we take into consideration when we invite a dealer to come to the show. You have high-end fine art, you have high-end art pottery and jewelry. You have some very rare toys. I've always believed the convention has to draw from different areas. Buy, see, and talk to people and gain knowledge. And Atlantic City was founded as a show uh, full of fun things to buy. So it doesn't matter if you're looking for a single piece or an entire collection, you can come and find really unique, fun things, conversation pieces. This is the place to go. This is an opportunity to see lots of different things. You know, real precious memories. 
And that's what antiques are about, memories.